everybody. So I don't normally do this very often. I usually do trainings just in my team page. So going live on my personal page is something a little new for me. So hopefully we will see some new faces on here. Um, as you jump on, I love Halloween. I love Halloween. If you follow me on Facebook, you probably know that already. <laughs> um, but as you jump on, say hi. Tell me what you were for Halloween last night. Tell me what you did. I'll give it a couple minutes before we get going because I know these notifications are sometimes delayed and things don't pop up in everybody's page right away. So I'll give you just a minute before we talk about what we are going to be discussing today. Thank you so much. Uh, I know it's kind of a weird time. Most of my audience is East Coast and UK, so I try to do this at a time that works for you. That still lets me get to Kira on time. So as you jump on, say hi. Tell me what you were for Halloween last night. If you saw my photo um, about half an hour ago, I was having a little fun with a Dia de los Muertos look, and I debated for a second keeping it on um, for this video, but I thought it might be a little distracting. I have some good stuff that I want to tell you, so I didn't want to take away from that too much, but um, they are doing a celebration at my daughter's school today, so I might have to pick her up tomorrow dressed like that, although I, I did tell somebody that I was done, 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 done with the Halloween looks because I've done way too many in the last couple weeks. Thanks, Nikki. Hi, everybody. Um, great. I'm, I'm so happy with the, the turnout we're getting so far. So, about me, most of you know me if you're already following my page. I'll just give you kind of a quick rundown. My name is Kai Lauren. I'm a Black Status presenter with Unique. I am super honored to be the first of a series of amazing women that are going to be talking to you all month long. November is the biggest month of the year for us, right? November is huge for network marketing. And it's a time when a lot of people are really trying to take their business to the next level and trying to promote. November is huge retail across the board. So we wanted to get together and talk to you about some of the things that we've done in the past that's, that have really worked well for us and just kind of give you some tips, get you started and you know help you along your way in this really important month. So I started with Unique in April of 2014. I signed up just basically to support a friend, to make a little bit of extra money. I was working full-time as a trial attorney at the time. I had no intentions of making this a full-time business. In December of 2015, December of last year, I left my job at the law firm to make this my full-time job. Um, I hit black status two years ago this month on Black Friday 2014. And I did it with a team of about 500 people and 19 personally sponsored. Uh, amazing, amazing rock star leaders who I'm, I'm seeing some of them jump on right now. Hi, everyone. Thanks for, for getting on here. I'm not going to um, take up too much of this telling you my story because that's not what today is about. But I will tell you quickly, I was working a full-time job. I had a two-year-old at the time. I was working really long hours. I had no sales training, no makeup training, no business experience. I was that person who was like, I'm too busy, I'm too busy, I can't fit another thing in my day. So if you're that person who's sitting saying, oh, I'm too busy to really do this, you're not. I promise you, you're not. Okay, if I can do this, anybody can do it. Um, this is a training for unique presenters. If you are not a unique presenter, you are more than welcome to join us to kind of get an inside peek of what I normally do on my team page, training-wise. Um, if you want to be a presenter, you know, listen along. They are doing free shipping on all new presenter kits for November to celebrate our four-year anniversary. So I can tell you about some great things, and these women who are commenting can tell you how awesome our company is. Amazing. So I am going to talk to you about the importance of setting your intentions, and not just in direct sales, not just in business, but in life. Setting your intentions and getting organized and moving forward toward a goal, no matter what your goal is. Hey, Rochelle, I'm not even. I'm just talk, talking away. I'm not even paying attention to these comments as they're coming in. Sorry, ladies. I will try to scroll back as I go. Um, you know, like I said, I started in April 2014. I hit black status in seven months. Black Friday 2014. I've been 
um, consistently paid his black status. I've been paid his black for 19 of the last 20 months. And I work my business every day. Every day, without fail, I work my business. And I think that, you know, before we can start to move, we all have goals, right? But before we can start to move toward our goal, we have to understand what that goal is. We have to be able to define what that goal is. So, like, so many people, when I sign up someone new, just about everybody says, I want to be black status. I want to be black status. Awesome. That's great. That's a great goal to have. But how are you going to do it? It's not enough to just say, I want this. You have to set out a plan to get there. And especially in a crucial month like this, you have to set out a plan to move forward and show up. Hi, Carrie. I was just talking about you. Carrie's my sponsor. She just jumped on. I'm super jealous. She's in Hawaii right now. Um, she was the friend I wanted to support that convinced me to do this crazy thing and jump into this business that um, got us both to leave. Carrie was also working like a crazy corporate job and left around the same time I did. Okay, so I'm going to get sidetracked. So everybody jumps in. They say, I want to be black status. Great. How are you going to do it? Stop talking and start doing. First thing that you have to figure out in anything that you do, business, life, whatever, what are your non-negotiables? What are your non-negotiables? So for me, if you follow me, you know that my daughter is like the most important thing in my life. She's way up here, way up here. But my business is right up there. Because my business is what allows me to have the life that I want to have with her. My business is what allows me to be like, I'm in, this is like, this is sports bra. I'm in yoga clothes. I put on makeup for you. But, you know, this is, I, it was, I'm like brushing my teeth, getting ready, putting deodorant on. Why? I don't have to do that. They're never going to know. But I did. Um, but this is, you know, I'm, I'm working from home. I get to pick her up whenever I want. We can travel wherever we want. We are completely unrestricted in the life that we get to live. And my business is what allows that. So it's up there. I am going to do whatever it takes to make sure that that business is successful. That's a non-negotiable for me. So the first thing you have to do is figure out, is your business, is your job, is whatever you're investing your time into a non-negotiable? Is it really something that's important to you? And to do that, you have to see that vision. You have to see where it can take you. So sit back, you figure out what that non-negotiable is. Hopefully it is your business. Hopefully it's your unique business because there's so much opportunity there. I mean, I'm living, breathing, walking proof of that. Hi, Aria. And then once you've done that, then you have to look at everything else. So look at, you know, look at your relationships, look at your children, look at your friendships. And the thing is, nobody's perfect, right? You're going to have bad days. You're going to have bad days at work. You're going to have bad days in your direct sales business. You're going to have days where you, like nothing goes right and you're screaming at your kids or you're fighting with your spouse or your boyfriend or girlfriend. But those are the little things, right? What are the big things? What are the big things that you cannot move forward without? Once you have determined that, and this is going to lead into my next topic, then you can let those little things fly. All right? Focus on that big stuff. So for me, those that big thing is helping my leaders promote to where they want to be because that sustains their business. That sustains my business. That's what keeps people inspired. That's what keeps people motivated. So that is my non-negotiable within my business. And in order to do that, I have to lead by example. I'm not going to ask somebody to go sell product if I'm not selling. I'm not going to ask somebody to sponsor if I'm not sponsoring. So in order to get my team to be where I want them to be and to live up to the potential that I know they have, I have to show them that I'm working too. Okay, that is your first step always, always. Um, and then you set your goal. So, you know, maybe there are some of you, uh, I know there are some women on my team who are running for black status this month. And maybe there are others of you who are running for promotions at any level in any business. And you have your end of the month goal. You have to set mile markers along the way. So, you know, today's the first of the month. So you can look at your month, break it up into whatever's attainable for you or whatever seems like it's not overwhelming. For me, I do it week by week. So I have week one, week two, week three, week four. And I look at, okay, where do I need to be by Sunday to stay on track for my end of the month goal? Because if you just say, oh, you know, I want to sell $1,000 this month, and you kind of just keep looking at that as the end of the month, and then all of a sudden it's the 28th, and you're like, I didn't sell anything. 
how did I get here? Because you didn't stay on track. You didn't set those mile markers. So write them down. I have a whiteboard in my kitchen and I put my weekly goals on the side and then I put my daily goals each day. And the nice thing about a whiteboard is if you don't get to it, you can just erase where it says Tuesday and write Wednesday at the top. And give yourself a little bit of, of leeway. Um, and say them out loud. Have somebody to check in with. This is important, not just in business, this is important in life. If you have fitness goals, if you have diet goals, if you have financial goals, if you have savings goals, say them out loud. Everybody needs a support system. And so if you can have someone to check in with and someone that you can talk to about what you want to do to move yourself forward, then you have that accountability. Having an accountability partner is really important. And, and even in your relationships too. I mean, I was doing this this morning. It's so important to have somebody that's there for you that can kind of keep you on track to where you want to go when you get frustrated or when you want to give up or when you can't see the vision as much as maybe they can. Um, positivity. My team knows I'm going to talk about this, right? I always talk about positivity. I get referred to as the obnoxiously optimistic girl. I'm like the obnoxiously positive girl, right? That's what my team says. That's what some people in my life um, lovingly, I hope lovingly, refer to me as right now. And the truth is, like, I'm not that person by nature. And I was not always that person. I am someone who, you know, in my, my former career as an attorney and just me in life, my default was to go to a negative place. And to just get frustrated or want to give up, hi Dia, or to, you know, be cynical. I was trained to be a skeptic as an attorney and it's, it's hard. And so when I first started in direct sales, I would sit and I would watch these videos where people were like, be positive and great things happen or read this book and all this money's going to fall into your lap or, you know, read the secret and all of a sudden next thing you know, you're the president of your company. And I was like, that is so cheesy. Give me a break. That's so cheesy. I was completely cynical about that. But here's the thing. There's science behind this. And you're like, oh God, you're going to talk to me about science <laughs> in our yoga pants. Um, there's science behind this. There really is. So there's an article, and I'll post it in the comments after I'm done um, with this live if you want to read it, and it's called Complaining is Terrible for You According to Science. And the concept is, I'm, I'm going to try not to get too deep here. <laughs> so the concept is, synapses in your brain fire a chemical from one synapse to the other, and they form like a bridge for that, that chemical to fire. And that thought in time will move those synapses closer together in your brain. And it does that in order to make that thought easier to travel. And so what happens is thoughts end up occurring easier when you have a trigger. So for example, to relate that to direct sales, if you're telling yourself, I'm terrible at sales, I'm no good at sales, which is something I told myself. That was the reason I didn't want to do this in the first place. I wasn't a salesperson. Um, you start to have these triggers where as soon as you hear the word sales, you think, I'm no good. You go to this negative place and your brain is doing that because it's constantly trying to make its own job easier. Well, the cool part is you can train your brain to think positively. And so if you relate this to maybe, you know, you drive by a street that looks like your, the street that you grew up on, or you smell fresh cut grass and it reminds you of you know, a, a happy summer outing when you were a kid, that's that same mechanism in action. And so, you know, we talk about affirmations. And again, this was something that I was like, super cheesy. No way. I'm not going to stand in the mirror and tell myself how great I am. But that's not really what it's about. What it's about is you're standing in the mirror and you're saying, I'm an awesome salesperson. I'm a successful business person. And you are training your brain and you don't even know you're doing it. You just think that you're like, la la, I'm being positive. You are training your brain to wire those positive thoughts so that when you hear the word sales or when you hear the word sponsoring or when you hear the word network marketing, you have a positive reaction instead of a negative one. Okay, That is why positivity is so important. You are biologically programmed to associate that positive thought. So you just have to work on that. And if you are a negative person like me, you're going to have to work harder on it, but it is doable. You can be super obnoxiously positive girl like me, which Maybe it's not a great thing, but we'll go with it. 
Um, okay, so anybody can be positive when good things are happening to them. When you're on top of the world and everything is great, sure, positivity, that's awesome. The hurdles are when it matters, right? That's when it's important. And so what you have to do now is, okay, we're on the first of the month. This is November 1st. Can somebody comment? I can't see how long I've been going. Can somebody comment and let me know how long this is? Um, so you're the first of the month. You can tell yourself right now the hurdles are going to happen, okay? Because they will. They will. Anything in life, you are going to encounter hurdles. And that's when that positivity training matters, right? Because that's when you're tested. Th thanks, Nikki. Um, so... You know, you, you have these, these excuses, and they're built in for all of us, and they're fear, and they're what we go to when things aren't going well. All of a sudden, you know, maybe you see some struggles in your business, and then I hear these excuses like rapid fire. Well, I'm too busy. Well, you know, I have this with the kids. Money is tight. The people in my life are unsupportive, and, and on and on and on, and these excuses are bubbling up from fear. Once you get derailed a little bit, that's when you have to go back to what you trained your brain to do in the first place. Um... Because, yeah, yeah, it's going to be hard. But you know what doesn't make it less hard? Talking about how hard it is. It doesn't make you less busy to talk about how busy you are. It doesn't make your bank account more full to talk about how broke you are. But taking the actions that you need to take to move forward will actually make a positive change in your life. Okay? Um, just going through my notes to make sure I don't miss anything because I'm getting kind of kind of fast <laughs> for you. Um you know, I watched the live that, that Shelby, I think I saw her on here, I watched the live that Shelby did yesterday, and one of the things that she said that really resonated with me, and she's maybe hearing this for the first time, is she said, I have a gift. I get a gift, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm, I'm butchering this, Shelby, I'm probably, I'm paraphrasing you, but she said, when I lay my head on my pillow at night, I get to choose how my day was. So, maybe, hi, there you are, Shelby, so maybe you had a bad day. Maybe, more likely, you had a bad five minutes that you made into your whole day because you thought about it all day. Maybe you had an average day. Maybe you had a whatever day. Whatever your day was, you get to choose what that day was when you lay your head on your pillow at night. You get to see that through your own lens. You get to take away whatever lesson you want from that day. So, you know, one of the things I tell my team is you're going to hit those hurdles. Be ready for it. And instead of compromising your goal... Once you hit those hurdles, strengthen your resolve. That's when you strengthen your resolve. Consistency. These are the three. So it's, you know, can, it, I talk about the three tips of success. I always tell my team I have um, positivity, consistency. Anybody know what the third one is? I'm not going to focus on the third one too much today, but consistency is the next one. Everybody focuses on results. Every time somebody comes to me and asks for advice about their business, they, they're talking about results. I can't get anyone to join my team. Nobody wants to host a party. I can't get anyone to buy from me. The results are none of your business. When someone joins my team, that's none of my business. Like that's their decision, that is their timing. When one of my customers decides they wanna purchase a product from me, that is none of my business. That is their timing, that's what's convenient for them. What is my job, what's my business, is being consistent in taking actions. Focus on the actions and the results will come. So I am reaching out, I am offering something to my customers, to my presenters, to the people who are interested in making this a business opportunity. I am offering something to them. I'm not pushing them. Any of my customers who are on here will tell you, like, I'm not beating down somebody's door. I'm not saying, join me, join me, join me, buy this. I'm offering them a service and what they decide to do with it, that's their business, that's their choice, it's their timing. Focus on the actions, not the results. Be consistent, and you will see those results. Okay, I'm going to leave you with my month by month. And this is what I actually do. This is my organization, how I run my team, how I run my business to be consistently paid as Black Status. Okay, this is, there are no secrets. It's consistency, it's positivity, it's patience. Thanks, I saw some of you on there. See, I'm like shoving this down my team's throat. Consistency, positivity, patience. That will get you to the top. This is what I do month to month, okay? The first thing I do, my absolute number one goal every month is to get to my 500 in sales. That is my first priority. So today, it is day one of the month, 
and I'm at 634. My PRS right now is 634, halfway into the first day of the month. Because I have parties booked this month. I'm doing a home party Saturday. I'm doing bulk orders for people. I have reached out to people. I am offering things to my team. That is my number one goal. I don't focus on anything else until I've led by example and got to my 500. And I normally do that within the first three days of the month. Um, when there's a kudos that features a new product, I buy it. I buy it on the first day of the month. And if I don't have the extra cash to buy it, or if there are those of you who don't have the extra cash to buy it, then you better be hosting those parties to make sure you have enough Y cash to do it. Because my customers do not want to see some graphic of the kudos. They want to see me wearing it. They want to know that I know about it. They want to know that I can tell them how it works, how it looks, how it feels, what's in it. And so I buy that kudos every month and I display it to my customers and I do a video and I tell them what it's about so that I can offer them a service that they can't get going to Sephora or buying something at Target or buying something at CVS. Um, and my customers will tell you, I offer them a service. I don't push sales. I am not a pushy salesperson. I will never be that person. I don't want to be that person. That is not what we do at Unique, okay? So I'm giving makeup tips, even if they are not Unique-based makeup tips. I'm giving them easy hacks for busy moms or busy working professionals because that's what I was and that's what I needed. Um, I'm doing home events. I'm doing spa days and getting the girls together. I'm showing them great products. I'm color matching for them. I'm giving them real reviews. Um, I am, you know, I'm trying to make life easier for them. One of my customers, a good friend of mine, said, you know, I'm busy. She's pregnant. She has a kid. She works full time. She's like, I don't want to stress over 85 different products and figuring out which is the best one and trying to run to Sephora. So I'm trying to make her life easier so that she doesn't have to put two kids in car seats after work and try to find parking at the mall and shop at Sephora for something that she doesn't even know if it's going to be good or not because there's 40 other things that look just like it. And if she uses it for two weeks and she hates it, oh my gosh, she can't take it back to the store and return it and then put the kids in the car seats again, find parking again, go through all this. So I'm trying to offer her a service instead of looking out for my own tail and saying, hey, I got to get my sales up, buy from me, buy from me, because nobody wants that. I don't want that. I wouldn't buy from another direct seller that did that. Um, okay, so that's, that's my 500. I get my 500 in within the first three days of the month. Next thing I do is I turn to the opportunity. And again, I am not shoving this down anybody's throat. The women on my team, the women I have personally sponsored, the women who hopefully are, are watching this right now, who are on the fence that I've been talking to, I'll be reaching out to you later today, they will tell you, I do not shove anything down their throat. I show them what this opportunity is. I tell them what it's been for me, and I let them know I'm not going anywhere. I am here when you're ready. And that's it. That's all you can do. Whether someone decides to join, whether the timing is right for them, it's none of your business. There's nothing you can do about that. All you can do is present the opportunity that you have. And if they take it, awesome. If they don't, maybe it's not for them. It's not for everybody. That's okay. Not everybody's going to be a lawyer. Not everybody's going to be a teacher. Not everybody's going to be a dentist. This is not for everyone. Do not take it personally. You keep working your business. Um, I have no emotional connection with the response. If somebody tells me, I reached out to someone yesterday who I thought would be great, and she said, thanks, it's not for me. Okay, cool. That's cool. It's not for everybody. Um, be genuine. When you are reaching out to people, when you're reaching out to your friends, when you're reaching out to people on your Facebook page, don't just go through and spam a bunch of people. Nobody wants to see that. Look at where you can fill an actual need. So what I do is if I see someone who's posting about money being really tight, I'll say, hey, I've been there. I get it. This could be an opportunity for you. If I see somebody who is posting amazing selfies or, you know, there's a, one of my friends who has some of the greatest Halloween looks I've ever seen, I'm saying, hey, you could be really great at this. And that's all you can do. If she takes advantage of that, awesome. If she doesn't, it's okay. Um, and then... You know, right now, so one of the things I said, I'll be reaching out to those fence sitters later. So there are people who, you know, have expressed interest in the business who haven't signed up yet. I know we all have these or said they're going to sign up and they never do. Everybody has those. And so I'll go back this month and I'm going to say, you know, maybe there are some people watching right now. Hey, we have free shipping on our presenter kits all month. That's going to save you like $15 on something that's already a great deal. And I present them that opportunity. And if they don't jump at it, 
that's okay. So that's the first half of the month. Um, you know, I'm getting my sales in, I'm presenting the opportunity, I'm focusing on my business. I, I always put my own business first because I lead by example. And then the second half of the month, once I have those things squared away and once I know I've taken care of my business, then I focus on my team. And then it's, you know, I'm focusing on my team all month long, but I really step it up those last two weeks of the month. And that's when I am posting on our team page way more. I'm recognizing promotions. I'm recognizing people that are close to promotions. I'm reaching out. Um, I am, you know, offering incentives. I am, I'm reaching out to the people who reach out to me. And this is something that is a really sensitive point for me in this business is I hear people say, my sponsor doesn't do anything for me. Or, you know, I don't really have a strong upline. Or, you know, I'm not doing anything with my business because my sponsor hasn't reached out to me yet. And, you know, I signed up a week ago and she hasn't even messaged me. No, that is not her job. That is your job. It is your job to make sure that your business takes off. My business was going where it was going regardless of who I signed up under. I am lucky that I have an amazing sponsor and I love her to death. I was going to be here no matter who I signed up under. And the top leaders on my team were going to be where they were no matter who they signed up under. I got lucky that I was a good talent scout and I found them. But the people who want it in this business are going to work no matter who their upline is. And when I hear that from people, I shut it down right away because you don't need an upline. You need a success line. That's what you need to be successful in this business. So what I do is I reach out to the people who reach out to me. My time is the most valuable thing that I can offer you because that's time that I'm taking away from running my own business, from, from taking care of my daughter, from advancing those things in my life to make sure that my leaders are successful. So I run with the runners. I work with the people who want this badly and who show me that they want it badly, not by saying, I want to be black status, but by doing the actions that lead to black status. Okay? And I know that's tough love, and I know that sounds harsh, but I think there's this, this misperception of, you know, nobody did anything for me, and that's why I wasn't successful. And the thing is, you have, you're a business owner. Everybody has the same opportunity. Everybody starts at white status with zero PRS and zero people on their team. So for me, I will say, I say this to my team, I don't care if you signed up yesterday or if you are a purple status presenter running for black, I will help you. I will devote my time to you. I will do whatever you need. I will do whatever it takes. But you have to show me that you want it too because I'm not going to want it for you more than you want it for yourself because then I'm just disappointed, right? And I don't want to be disappointed. I want to be cheering on the amazing people on my team because there are amazing people on my team. So, um, you know, and that's one of the things, I think that's a hard thing for a lot of us because if we come from corporate careers, there's this, you know, what I call this management trap or this management slump where you're trained to work really hard and, you know, promote and get to a place where you're successful and then kind of coast. And that's just not how this works. You have to work and you have to show up every day and you have to work every day. And it's okay to have bad days. It's okay to feel like you want to quit sometimes. I felt like I wanted to quit before. I figure like, hey, it's not really a job if you don't feel like you want to quit at least once, right? Um, but the opportunity and the payoff and the sisterhood and the confidence boost that you get from truly investing yourself in those things and wanting to work and, and having that drive is so much better than anything that, that I could describe. So, um... I will not keep you longer than that. If you have questions, post them in the comments. Thank you so much for um, you know giving some of your time to me. There are going to be so many other amazing leaders who are going to talk to you throughout the month. If you want the schedule, please um, go to my personal page I posted this morning. I have added some new people since I posted, so give it another look. You know we have several. We've got Sherry Brown. We have Amber Voigt, we have Kelsey Stacy. we have some awesome, awesome people who are going to be talking to you throughout the month, and every one of them has, you know, real gems to offer you, so please take advantage of this. Have an awesome November, I hope that was helpful for you, and have a great rest of the day. Thanks.